Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold stream. On today's stream, we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are uh, going to be playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! Hooray! But, first and foremost, before we do that, there is a new ban list that just came out for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG that changes quite a lot. And I already did a video on it, and so, so have so many other people. But I do want to discuss it, because it is so beautiful it makes my eyes cry um yes there are things i don't like about it a lot of them are personal and a lot of them are basically just like oh i don't like this card and not i think this is going to change the the way that the game plays in a negative way um besides one thing which we'll talk about but it is just an insanely good ban list let's start off with the bans first and foremost banning link karibo sure doesn't really matter but I do like this. This is a nice hit to Snake Eyes because it basically means that on follow-up turns, if you stop your opponent utilizing your hand traps effectively or something along those lines, that they're not able to just link off into a Link Karibo, save their life points, and then potentially utilize that Link Karibo as a follow-up to protect a Snake Eye Ash from target effect negation or something along those lines, which means that they're more susceptible to getting that secondary effect also negated. Great. Love to see that. It means that your interactions are more likely to resolve. It means that that power level is a little bit stronger. It means that Poplar is not just immediately going to be another material into the back row, which means if they already have the field spell, you're able to get that extra thing, right? And a bunch of other stuff like that that just make it a lot better just in general for Snake Eye or, or uh, like for going up against Snake Eye, right? Like actually being able to interact favorably is nice without like actually hitting any of the snake eye cards because pretty much that's just not gonna happen you're not gonna hit any of the snake eye cards and we'll talk about that in a second next up baron i hate this card this card deserved to be banned it's too generically good it is in basically every end board it is extremely easy to summon for so many decks especially if you can just vomit out material it's very easy to get a random tuner onto your side of the field to then just make Baron. It's It used to be difficult to make. A 10 used to be a difficult level to make in terms of synchro monsters. At this point, it's not. And, uh, and it also recurs materials and puts itself back into the extra deck so you can just do it again. This card is insanely good, and uh, I would have loved to have seen the other super generic negate machine in Appalosa also be on this list over Borderload Savage Dragon, and we'll talk about that in a second, but I do like Baron being banned. I, I just think it's a generically, it's it's generically too powerful. So actually banning it makes sense. It also significantly hinders the power level of the end board of Snake Eye, which is great. That means they're not ending on an Omni Negate basically ever uh, alongside the secondary limitation, which means that oftentimes they have bigger weaknesses now, right? Evenly Match is now even more powerful. You now don't necessarily have to specifically uh, hand trap them. You can actually interact with like board breakers and what have you. So this is a very good limitation to open up the amount of playable strategies uh, to basically beat Snake Eye, which is really, really cool. Same with Borderload Savage Dragon. Now, I personally like Borderload Savage Dragon. I think it is a good way of getting a negate. I do think it's a little too generic, so I'm not sad to see it go necessarily. Um, but I think there is a bigger problem, which is Appalosa. I think that card in particular is a bit more of a problem than something like Borderload Savage Dragon. But even just having the one Omni negate in Borderload Savage Dragon was still way too powerful, especially with Snake Eyes. It was incredibly easy to make um, with basically anything so yeah seeing this band not really too upset about that who cares rip synchron though good riddance i who cares who cares that deck has so many other options like these two whatever um summon limit i don't know why this happens to be the one uh the one floodgate that got banned because uh, there are several other floodgates that should also just be banned. Um, I'm glad that it's gone. And yeah, it absolutely deserves to be banned. Summon Limit is a stupidly poorly designed card. Um, 
You just can't summon more than two times. It's not even special summon. It's just, you can't summon more than two times. Which is insane. Uh, just kind of an insane card. It just truly problematic. Good to see it's gone. Uh, other such cards, though, should also be banned. There could be only one. Rivalry, Cozen. All of those should just be banned. They do not facilitate any interesting styles of gameplay. And uh, they're incredibly powerful. And this is very similar. Um, this, however, can go into sideboards a lot more easily, I think, than like any other Floodgate. So, there you go. Next up, we have the limitations. We're going to talk about the good stuff first. Anti-Spell Fragrance. Good thing it's going to one. It was at three. It's going to one. Fantastic. Love to see it. Um, should should be banned. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's basically just a really, really obnoxious uh, IO, Imperial Order. Uh, Kieran, coming back to one. This card should have been unlimited ages ago. Uh, this card doesn't do anything right now. Pendulum is in a really, really poor state right now in the TCG, in the OCG, in Master Duel, in wherever you want to play, play it. Uh, Pendulum is just not all that great. And honestly, Kieran's effects, while they're fairly decent for like 2015, it's not 2015 anymore. This card could come back easily. Um, so good to see it coming back. Yeah. Uh, title, title's not doing anything. All of the t Dragon Rulers could come back to three and not change anything. Um, as we see currently in Master Duel, they're not really changing anything. Uh, the biggest, like, hesitation for specifically title was Tier Limit, and the fact that Tier Limit could technically play this card, but at this point, why play that when you could play, like, the Horus stuff and have, like, additional ways to mill and have, you know, just, like, huge bodies that you could just slap onto the field, right? And, like, milling cards is not terrible with the Horus stuff as well. So, who cares about title? Um, now let's talk about the bad stuff that's been limited. I don't like Chicken Game. Chicken Game and other such draw spells in Yu-Gi-Oh! never end up in good decks. Or in, like, fair strategies. So, something like Chicken Game, uh, like Upstart Goblin, etc., what normally ends up happening is not that, oh, this gets put in, like, uh, as, like, a 30, you know, as, as, like, the 40th card in a in a deck just to, like, thin the deck one. And that's never really what ends up happening with draw decks uh, or, or with draw spells anymore because decks are so hyper-consistent at this point. You don't really need the ability to just randomly draw cards. So because of that, this normally ends up in some unfair strategy that just makes it so that, you know, this unfair strategy ends up being slightly more consistent, and you don't really want to see that. So I'm not a big fan of draw spells coming back. Um, so, yeah, is this going to change anything? No, not in the slightest. I'm just not a big fan of having access to additional draw spells because of what it normally ends up doing, which is basically just facilitating degeneracy. Colossus. Is this too powerful? No. Is it worthwhile having it come back to one? Yes. Does it mean that Thunder Dragons can now play the game? Yes. Should we be releasing Floodgates? Probably not. This is not a fun card to play against. A lot of decks don't really enjoy playing against Colossus. A lot of strategies just kind of get hosed by Colossus. So, yeah, not really very fun to see this. And it also sees play even outside of its own strategy. So, again... Not really a big fan of seeing this. Same thing with Protoss. Especially in a best of three, Protoss is a lot more strong. Um, I understand giving Coloss or giving Protoss back to Sword Soul since Baron is banned, but like in all honesty, this card didn't need to come back. Should it have? No. Did it? Yes. Is it gonna change anything? Absolutely not. The Bamboo Engine at least needs some setup. Exactly. If it's like a setup for draw spells, I think it's fine. But when it's just like, cool, activate this and you get a free draw, it's like, eh. Now, granted, technically your opponent can also use it. But normally by that point, you've probably already used, you know, something else. And gotten rid of Chicken Game. Uh, next up, semi limitations. The Pearly Delicious Memory coming back to two is great. Pearly hasn't been doing anything. I like seeing it back to two. Um, the semi-limitation for Armageddon Knight isn't going to change anything. Uh, I genuinely forgot Isolde was banned. Um, but even with that being said, 
uh, even with Isold, I don't think Armageddon Knight being at three would change anything. Um, main reason is because you're only ever going to play one anyway, and like the decks that would play this don't really care whether they have one or more. Like they're, those decks aren't really going to do anything with it. Like Orcus is the only deck that I can reasonably see playing multiple Armageddon Knight. Or maybe like Dark Warrior in general with like Isolde stuff. And even with that being said, they're not really going to do anything with that that they couldn't already do through a myriad of other options, right? So, like, the one versus three Armageddon Knight really doesn't change the math on anything and doesn't really change anything. That's it. Um, next up, we have Malicious. Uh, I, I... This card being unlimited is so funny to me. I don't like this card coming back to three, mostly because... Um, Malicious has to stay at two. It It's like his canon placement. He just has to stay at two. It's required. So the fact that Malicious is going back to three uh, fuzzies the my brain. I don't like it. It makes my brain unhappy. He should stay at two. He's that's that's his home. He's he stays. At, that's the only card that should be at two. Ever. At any point is this guy right here. Why? No reason in particular, that's just where he belongs. Does this change anything, especially with the Soul Day Band? No. Do I like it at three? No, not necessarily. I do not like giving hero players anything. Suffer. That's it. Uh, next up, Harpoor. Not gonna do anything. I don't, I don't, that's basically nothing. Uh, Engage. I hate this card. I want it banned. I do not like it in the slightest. I think it is a terribly designed card. I hate the fact that Engage is a card that you can draw into off of the engage to then activate it again and then get another search and get another thing and do another thing and do another thing and sky striker is just super annoying and it's not a very interesting deck when the engage is in multiple copies i just hate this card in particular at one i think it's okay it's reasonable but it just is not a good card it's not a cool card it's not an interesting card it should just not exist and i will stand by that until the day i die but Sky Striker is a very, very popular deck, and of course, it's not really doing anything right now. It's not going to be the best deck in any capacity. Yeah, you can of course give it the third engage. That's not going to change anything. Sure. It's still going to be Sky Striker. It's still not going to do anything. I have issues with Terror Top. This is the one thing, besi besides like this and Protoss, th like the rest of this ban list is fine. And I think, I think it's genuinely good. And there's, like, nothing that I would really say is, like, a genuine mistake. Right? That's not just, like, me. Right? Protoss is a mistake. Protoss should not have come back. That's just, that's just wrong. Terror Top is the other one. I will never see this card hit the field and go, oh, we're in for a cool, fun, and interesting match. Every single time Speedroid Terror Top hits the field, your opponent is on something degenerate. Even in Speedroid, it's not like I. Yes, Speedroid does its thing, but like Speedroid is like super annoying if it actually does its end board and like takes ten years and it's just it, you know it's like a standard combo deck, right? It dies to like a hand trap though, so not really that big of a deal. The problem is that Terror Top can be used in so many other strategies to facilitate things like Cherubini to get. PK online and do a whole bunch of random crap with that. You can use it to go into, like, MX Saber Invoker now, which can get into, like, Zodiac stuff, which Zodiac stuff in the TCG isn't as good, but um, you can also use it to go into a myriad of other rank 3s or just, like, 2 material. You could just make Verte with this in, in Master Duel, right? So, I, I've just never seen Terror Top and gone, yeah, my opponent's on something interesting or fun. Uh, it's always just something degenerate that's going to prevent you from basically playing the game or, you know, make a big end board that you just can't play through, right? So it's never really interesting. And, uh, yeah, I don't like it. So I don't like this card. I I think this is just a mistake and shouldn't come back. Did it change the metagame? No. Did it make the, it more fun to play Yu-Gi-Oh! by having it at three? No. It, it didn't. At all. In the slightest. Uh, it made the game worse. So I don't like that. Those are the two big things. Other than that, fucking killer. Fucking stellar ban list. It's so good. 
Because even the things that are mistakes, they're not going to change the game so much that I'm going to be like, I now don't want to play the game. It's going to be like, well, once every, like, 700 games, this is going to come up and be like, ugh. And that's it. You know? At least no bear to yeah. But, uh, you know, people really don't like Protoss, by the way. Not if they want a Floodgate that I... Mm, people really, people really, really don't like Floodgates. And to be fair, Protoss is annoying, but, like... Man, people really don't like Floodgates in this uh, community. They're just like, uh, heaven forbid, I not play the game uh, in one specific capacity. <laughs> heaven forbid I have to change my strategy even remotely. How dare you? Um, very funny. But yeah, overall, incredible ban list. Incredible ban list. And, uh, yeah. That's basically it. Uh, now, I want to play Joshua Smith's, like, 60-card Paleozoic Pile deck, because it looked incredibly fun. So... Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, not that one. Classic TCG dub, indeed. Where is it? Where's the deck? Is it this one? Show me deck list. I need deck list. You played in the Duelist Cup? Cringe. Don't let him exceed you? I mean, we have a Daruma Karma Cannon in the graveyard. We are big and chilling. They always have... He has a Daruma Karma Cannon in the, in, in the grave, by the way. Hello, hello? Dude, I don't... Where it, uh, I found it. I found the deck list. Take out the Sky Cavalry. No, I need the Link Monster. Oh, Time Tearing Morganite. Trap Tantalizing Toon. No. No shot. We're playing that. Does he have like an updated band that he, he probably he probably doesn't let's be honest this probably is his updated list triple daruma triple okay never mind i lied to you i lied to you all we're not we're, we're not playing paleo but it's, it's too expensive i was like paleo is cheap right wrong wrong let me let me Okay, let me let me look at that list again. I got players in shambles. True. Kill your Helios, and then you just roll. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. There is a deck list that is significantly cheaper that we can utilize. Okay, that's fine. We can make this work. We can make it work. Trust. Is he just like maxing out on the Paleos? 
Uh, no. The answer to that question is no. Three of you, 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 I think is the only ones that he's playing. Oh, sorry, it's not, it's not this one. It's not that one, it's this one. Lee and Coley. Coilio? I'm never going to get those names right, so I'm just not going to try. <laughs> we'll call it Leon. Uh, Reckless Greed. I don't know if Reckless Greed is necessarily the play. Torrential. I do like Torrential. I like Torrential a lot. Backjack. Is it Backspace Jack? It is Backspace Jack. Cross Parity uh, Maxi Grass Desires. I mean, to be fair. Playing like what, what was he? What was the updated version? Hold on, hold on. Maybe maybe we don't play this on the main account. Maybe we play this on our other one and only account. Trust. What are Dino's worst matchup? Um, which Dino? I could not tell you. I do not play dinos. I would imagine their worst matchup is like Labyrinth, probably. Because they don't really have a great way of dealing with spells traps. Right? Especially they especially don't have a great way of dealing with things that interact outside of the main phase. So like I would imagine Branded's also not great for them because of the way that Branded specifically interacts. The worst matchup are hand traps. If they don't have misc, yeah. But they normally have misc, so who cares? Yeah, I, I would imagine like Labyrinth, Branded seems like a pretty bad matchup. Uh, Rescue Ace seems like really terrible as well. I can tell you Tri Brigade's worst matchup. They don't have one, I'm lying to you. Uh, I I'm, I'm I'm it's probably cashier, I guess. With the Alaz lore continuing, do we do you think there will be more sword soul support? Uh, probably. Stick to Makonko? Oh, Dino is definitely better than Makonko. Makonko loses to more or less the same things. Probably even more so. The only thing that Makonko doesn't lose to is specifically targeting effects, which there aren't many currently in Yu-Gi-Oh. Besides, like, I don't know, Rescue is. Yo, 300 gems, let's go. I have how many gems? What the fuck? Dogma Makonko has been great. Dogmatica Makonko? Interesting. 
All right, we're playing. We're playing Paleo. We're playing Paleo. Let me actually look up the. Did I miss the Nib Fest? Yeah. Why? I was on vacation when it happened. I say I was on vacation, but no, that was when I was having my surgery. I was still technically supposed to be on vacation, but... But then, uh, then a little oopsie happened. Fifty-four seems criminal. Not playing grass. You stopped playing grass. Time tailing more than you. Okay. Let me let, let me let me show you this deck list that we're looking at at the same time. This is such a funny deck list. I love it. Like the thirty-second festival, but without the thirty seconds. What is that? What what does that even mean? What what do you mean? What do you mean the thirty-second festival without the thirty seconds? That doesn't, does not compute. Oh. Um, okay. Back, check. I'm gonna just dismantle this guy. It's fine, trust. Trapped. Sorry, tantalizing tune. There we go. Time tear. Are we playing Prosby? Oh, desires. Reasoning. Reasoning seems so cracked here. Do we not play grass? No shot, we play Balance of Judgment. I refuse to believe that we play Balance of Judgment. No. 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 Uh, oh. What is, what is this card? It's chain something or other. Oh, accumulated fortune. What? Why did I think it was chain? Needle bug. Uh, wait. What is that? What is that one? Fiend griefing. I'm terrible with names. I know I I could tell you exactly what the card does, but could I tell you the name of it? No, not a chance. Balance of Judge. Judge? We're only playing two of those. Uh, rise to full height. Trap. Why the hell do I have a full trap trick deck? What the fuck? Trap trick. Sorry. Wrong card. Uh. Roll back. And what's the last one? What? What are. Uh. Garuma Karmakin. Jeez, I'm crow. This is expensive. You can't combo the law because Nib is looming. 
uh, but you can still think. I know some decks can play through Nib, but not through Nib plus any hand trap. Hmm. Decraft the trap tricks. I should. You're right. I do not enjoy that deck. Uh, Zeroboros. Oh, I love Zeroboros. Access code. Uh, Gigante. Oh no, I decrafted it. No. Zeus. Downard. Link Rebo. Artemis. Oh, for snow? I guess. It's like, no. Are any of these. No. I guess that makes sense, though. Elf. What? I don't have elf? That's crazy. Selene. Oh, but I have Selene? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, yo, that ain't right. Uh, Okay, well. These are all from, like, a million different pa packs. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. They're all from, like, 10,000 different packs. Oh, we got packs? I will simply pull... I, I will simply pull Gigantic Trust. In this one free pack, Trust. I did not. I pulled Wave King Caesar, though. Which is funny. It's funny. It's not very good, but it is funny. <laughs> oh, Trap Trick. Trap Trick is probably in the Labyrinth pack. I would imagine that's what it is. I guess it could, uh, what else could it have been? Uh, pre-historic. Prehistoric red card. Hold on. He's playing 57. What, what am I missing? Oh, he is playing grass. Okay. I'm just stupid. The answer to that question is I'm just dumb. Oh, Doom Cow. Oh, my favorite. My favorite card that doesn't do anything. Okay, how many URs do I need? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yikes. Yikes. This isn't even in the. It's not even in the fucking Trap Tricks pack? Bro, Trap Tricks are owned, by the way. <laughs> fucking own, dude. <laughs> no thrust? No thrust. I am not the progenitor of this list. I did not create it. Honestly, though, it does make sense. You, you don't really need thrust. You don't... Like, you... Yes, opening grass is nice, but, like, who cares? You're just gonna set five pass anyway. I don't know if I'll need Zeroboros. That's it. That's the only one that I'm like, yeah, that one could go. <laughs> Bruh. Is this pack still here? It is. Okay. Well, I this is the pack we're opening. Because I can at least pull something from it. 
Oh, I'm gonna pull nothing. I pulled two red reboot. <laughs> Do you know how funny that is? Do you know how unbelievably comedic that is? Oh. None of the new Trapter cards are in their pack, since Trapter has got Structure Deck cards in a selection pack. Oh, I forgot about that selection pack, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I, I just thought Trap Tricks just had all of their stuff just in the game at launch, but they didn't. You're right. I forgot about that. That's a bad omen. If I get red rebooted one time, I'm gonna cry. You will give me rollback. This is rollback. Trust. It's not... That was not... That was... Okay, at least make it a royal so I can dismantle it for more. It's good against Rescue Ace Trust. It's good against Labyrinth! Trust! Nothing tops pulling reboot when you were building mana. Don't... Bro, I... Ugh. Building decks like Mana Dimian just making me want to cry. I... Ugh. It was like when I built Hero. Dude, I couldn't even, like... I... No. Don't... I hate decks like that. It's those anime boy decks. They, they, they just... It, they grip you by the balls, and then they tug. You're just like, no, stop! Please! Pay the lore tax. Please, just give me the reboot. Not the reboot, the, uh, the, the rollback. Please, just give me transaction rollback. Crazy that you saw Samsara wasn't a UR. If that was also a UR, I... I do not think mana players would ever financially recover. I mean, fair, because they don't deserve to, but that deck would have been a nightmare. It's in like six different packs. It's all URs. And then the deck still is like tier two. Dude, that's not even worth it. You are. That's, that's not the right one! Watch me build all of Earthbound before I get a single transaction. Oh, cool. Book of Eclipse. I like Book of Eclipse. That's a cool card. I had similar experience. I wanted three Revolution Dragon for the new Zark. Got nothing except the OG. Odd Eyes instead. And yeah. yeah. Why is Witch of the Black Forest in here? Oh, because it's level 14, isn't it? Yeah. The only non UR would have been the three of me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware of how freaking expensive that deck is. I, I, oof. Oof. Sir, that is not transaction rollback. What the hell? No. Nice pulls. Yeah, sure. Bruh. <sighs> I'm skipping this. Another one? Another one? This card's at three? No shot that card's at three. Did it did I miss a ban list? Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Okay, it's a two. We're fine. It's fine. There it is! There it is! There it is! Transaction rollback! Oh, we got it. We got one. We got one, chat! <laughs> Motherfucker. Ah, I hate it here. Okay, let's, let's dismantle some cards. Uh, only had 
two of these. Tragic. Uh, what did I just pull? I don't even know. I don't even remember what I pulled. Pull back instead. You! You! Get him out of here. You can go away. Why do I have you? Don't know, couldn't tell you. Just got three of this guy. Hold on, do I already have this guy? I think I think I already have this guy, right? No. No, I don't. Okay. Good to know. You. I'm, I'm missing one. What am I missing? No, 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 no. That's great. No, 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 no. I'm right. I have a royal Promethean. Combi. Why do I have so many shiny guards? I'm just gonna dismantle all of them. I'm not playing Red Reboot. Are you playing Red Reboot? Don't. Please don't. Trap decks are cool. Miracle Synchro Fusion exists. Existing always made me think there was going to be a Miracle Rum card. If there was a Miracle Rank Up Magic, I. Uh, mm, mm. That would suck. That's all. It'd be really, really annoying. This is not enough. I only have 200. I I definitely need more. Uh-oh. Okay, what, what is most important? First and foremost, this is most important. We're getting this card. Okay. Then I would imagine, like, time tearing. I got a glossy gross. And then this guy. Great, okay. And now we're... Cool, and now we're out of... What does the trap card do? The trap trick card do? It allows you to draw... Uh, you pitch a trap and you draw two cards. That's it. You just send a trap to the grave and you draw two cards. You can also pitch an insect, but we're not... Or like a, a plant or an insect, a, whatever the um, trap tricks monsters are, as well. But we're not playing those, so who cares? Link two of the paleo is not too necessary. I would imagine it's probably not. Come on. Okay. Well, they didn't give me anything. Tragic. What's in Blazing Arena? Nothing. Nothing that we're building, I should say. What's in here? Once again, nothing. All right. Why'd you come back? I don't want you, go away. Go away. He came back, chat. He came back. Why did he come back? Why did it come back? I don't... Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Is there a way I can just get, like, 100 gems real quick? Notifications. Woo. Alright. I could do a solo mode, like, real quick, like. To be honest, it wouldn't be quick. Oh. Oh, it 
Oh, it's the XA one. And then I get 200 gems. Okay, if I really need to, we can do that. Yes, I've seen the TCG ban list. It also makes me want to play the TCG. To be fair, every time I see the TCG ban list, I'm like, dang, I should play the TCG. Because seriously, they, they were cooking over there. I saw someone say um, something along the lines of like, oh, the TCG has... They either have like really good ban lists or train wreck ban lists. And in recent memory, I cannot remember a ban list that was like bad. Like I'm genuinely struggling to think of a ban list that was just bad. Can you guys remember one? I can't I can't remember one. At least in recent memory, I can't remember one. I'm gonna hold off on that. Still can't afford the new fire cards. Same. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I still haven't used this ticket. <laughs> Whoever they got in the office right now deserves a raise. The past four or five lists have been straight bangers. Yeah. They've been, like, absolutely insanely good. Yo, I got Skylar. Sick. Let's go. It's gonna be, like... I mean, it doesn't matter what comes out of this. It's gonna be shit. Great. Yeah, Dark Templar. Great. Fantastic. Wow. That's... Why can't I dismantle that? Please... Please. Thanks, Konami. Oh, I don't have any tickets. Comedy. Give me something that I can dismantle. Two Omni Negate boss monsters got banned. Why is that depressing? Got a rival. The world is cruel comedy, and I'm the MC. <laughs> uh, true. Here, we'll, we'll copy this. Real quick. Konami is nothing but evil? Uh, explain? Why do I have so many of these as shinies? What the frick? That's not allowed. Play like torrential. What else do we want to fill these slots with? I mean, elf. <laughs> Realistically, elf. Okay, what made the ban list horrible? Please explain to me. You're not explaining anything. You keep saying like, oh, the ban list is bad, the ban list is bad. What made it bad? It was a fantastic ban list. You're not explaining yourself. 
I've, I've asked. I, I don't know if you've heard. Sorry. What's the best Baron deck? Uh, right now? It's, um... Uh, right now it's Snake Eye. Snake Eye abuses Baron in the TCG. And just makes it during... During the opponent's turn after going through Boralode Savage Dragon and then gets basically two Omni Negates on top of the rest of their established end board. Which is kind of nasty. Unfortunately, my Dragon Link deck can't catch a break in the TCG. I'm gonna miss Boralode. I will say, Boralode is a little bit more annoying, but Boralode, yeah, that kind of, that's still like a decent, that, to me, that's still like a good ban. I, it's just an Omni Negate that is being abused right now in the best deck, and yeah, sure, that works. I'm not sad that it's gone. Okay, this has got to be a little buggy, because it's so funny. Worst list I can remember in recent years is the one where they did was Banner Rise Heart. Uh, there's no more or less, and even that one wasn't that bad. It was what people were asking for. Yeah, like that wasn't a, to me. That was a good ban list. The problem is people have these have such high expectations. They're like, do everything. I want you to do everything. I want this ban list to be everything. You're like, it's not going to be everything. Temper your expectations, you dipshit. Sorry, that was really aggressive. <laughs> They're like, it didn't make my random rogue deck the best deck. And you're like, yeah, no shit. They've got Apo. That is true. That is sad. But even with that being said, it's like, again, temper expectations. They hit Baron. That's insane. It's still insanely good. Uh, Pendulum suit received a huge hit. They might see actual Zark decks crop up here and there. Fire King is by far the best now? Yeah. Boros Band is a bit unnecessary since Link Karibo is also banned, but Baron deserves it. Ben is 9 out of 10. Again, yeah, the ban list is, like, insanely good. It's not perfect. It never will be. Because that's... You know, each person has a different ban list, but... To me, it was like an 8 out of 10. There were a few minor mistakes, but everything else, I was like, yeah. Yeah. If Apple would have been hit, uh, all three of the most offensive... Uh, of the worst offenders would have gotten removed from Pendulum. True. Uh, did they ever ban something with an alt art? Um, no. They normally give an alternate artwork when they know something's not, like, ban-worthy. But that might be why Apo didn't get banned. Banner and Borlode got hit because they are budget now, lol. I mean, it wasn't just because they were budget, but it was more so because they were the budget version of... Uh... Like, they were the cards that weren't new in Snake Eye. They were the cards that were significantly cheaper, which means, like, selling that product for the player base isn't going to be, like, a hassle, but also holding onto it isn't also going to be, like, necessarily really detrimental to the pockets of the players, right? Um, and then they also... Yeah, that that's, like, a lot of it is, like... They're hitting cards that aren't just going to absolutely demolish the wallets of players. Which I like. <clears throat> Baron Borlo Savage Gating Band wasn't really the best because they're just not powerful enough to be ban worthy.
What correlates a ban-worthy card in your opinion, then? Because to me, those are two exceptionally ban-worthy cards. Right? Didn't expect to be see Protoss back? Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, Apple's not here because coming in the new product. Oh, yeah. It wasn't really a good ban list because of necessary banned cards, no hits to Snake Eye main deck, and etc. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on. Okay. Yes, it didn't hit the main deck of Snake Eye. However, think about it like this. If you hit any of the Snake Eye cards, all of the players who bought Snake Eye would be out hundreds of dollars immediately. Okay? It's also brand new. It is a brand new deck. So even though it is tier 0, you don't... You kind of can't hit it right now because if you do, and you, like, really hurt the deck... It costs players a ton of money. It disincentivizes them from keeping up with other meta decks. And it really does heavily, basically break the trust of your player base, right? Because now, they're less likely to be like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy this new product that you just gave me. When in reality, they're probably not, because why would they? They don't trust you, you're probably just gonna ban it, and it's gonna cost thousands of dollars for them. That doesn't seem like it's worth it, right? Wasn't a good ban this. Unnecessary banned cards. What other banned cards was unnecessary? Link Karibo? Link Karibo, Baron, and Borload were all specific targets to Snake Eye. Banning Link Karibo specifically allows you to actually interact with Snake Eyes on follow-up turns, which means interaction, like, targeted effect and negations and stuff like that are a lot more impactful against that deck, which is a lot better. Um, the second thing is that Borolode and Baron basically take away Omni Negate end boards from Snake Eye, which is fantastic. Right? Because then you're not just ending on, you know two Omni Negates plus the full Snake Eye end board. So that means the end board is a lot better, but you still get to play all of the Snake Eye stuff without killing the Snake Eye engine. Yeah? Summon Limit is a horrible card that is just good to get rid of and is poorly designed because it counts summons even when it's not face up, so you can't play around it because, again, good card to design except it's not, I'm lying to you. Linko Rebo was justified because it was helping Snake Eyes with have insane end boards. Same with Baron and Borla. Same thing same thing with uh Summon Limit, right? Summon Limit would be teched in for going first, and then you just flip it after doing your full combo. All four of those were banned. Every other card. Oh, oh, sorry. There was one other card that went down, which was anti-spell fragrance. That was the only other card that went down in number of copies. Everything else went up in number of copies. And Anti-Spell was similar. It went from 3 to 1, and it's just another floodgate. Everything else went up. Do you ever want Konami to ban people who made the fire cards so expensive? That that I would also want. That, that also sounds great. Why did I... What? Why was I... Oh, these are turned off because of... Trap Tricks. I forgot. I forgot Trap Tricks has a card text. I always forget about that. Yeah, now the snake now the snake eye end board isn't two omni gates on top of the 
uh, on top of the Uzuma, what's it, on top of the uh, Promethean and the Apollosa and the X and the Y and the Z and all of that other stuff. Which is awesome. Next thing is to hit the Fire King version. Yeah. Um. This will do this. We'll do this. Torrential, which kind of doesn't do anything. I'm not trying to say that the Snake Eyes end boards aren't good. I'm saying that they are significantly weaker than they were. Which is true. Instead of having two Omni Negates, they now don't have the two Omni Negates. Let's make Baron, er, Zeus here. Scarlet Sanguine. That's it. You didn't activate this guy? I guess that makes sense. Oh, there it is. Also, yes, of course, they're not going to absolutely demolish Snake Eyes. That's just not a feasible option. Right? If you were hoping that they just get rid of Snake Eye, that's just not going to happen. So, in terms of, like, an actual reasonable outcome to... Or at least for a ban list, I think this was a good one. Special summon. Oh no, back jacks the dark. Okay. Uh, let's do this then. Hmm. There he is, Dick. There's the boy. There's the boy. Then, yeah, 
but there's this guy, which allows me to go like this. Now, notably, they could pop like Opabinia here, but uh, obviously, I feel like they're gonna pop a double this. Yeah. Let's go trap tune pitch accumulated. Oh, that's fairly nice. Oh, you can place a trap. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, how very interesting. Uh, we'll go link Karibo. The other solo mode is really cool. Do this. We'll go. You. Target a card on the field and destroy it. I'll go Kanadia to flip this guy face down. More so just to trigger this. Although, what is that accomplishing? It's not accomplishing anything, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, wait. Never mind, this has text. I'm actually just genius. I'm actually just a genius. Do you know that? Do you know I'm just that good? <clears throat> There's Scarlet Sanguine. Sure. So let's go... No, because that would just trigger... We'll just wait. Okay, they are going to go Scarlet Sanguine here. So I'll trigger my Dino Mishes. They're gonna summon... They have to summon the Golden Lord here. So here comes him. HIM! Hmm. Yep. Sergero. We basically have to run this guy out of resources. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go Anomalic Harris here. We'll detach, we'll pop. Yeah, we'll pop the Hakiero. And then we'll go Morella. <clears throat> we'll send... Send transaction rollback. I should have. Mm, I should have sent rise to full height. We'll go back jack here. How does Snake Eyes end on summon limit? Did they just hard draw it? Get away! Look at Dino Mishes. Oh, I could just I could just pull Boku. <clears throat> okay, I was scared there for a second.
But yeah, they can remove their own summon limit as well. Which is really fun. Paleo! I drew grass, which kind of doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm just gonna go... Like this, target this guy. Get him into the grave. <clears throat> Let's go... Opabinia. Snake Eyes can use Evil Link, Karibo? You mean Lingaribo? The card that specifically only works for Cybers? No, they can't. Time tearing more than whatever shall I do? Peak control versus control true. TCG for finally getting rid of Baron, yeah. Ash and Oak are uh, really cool, interesting cards, aren't they? They're, they're, you know, they are certainly cards that exist in Yu Gi Oh! Ain't that the case? Almirage is the ultimate replacement? Yeah, but it doesn't do nearly as much. The, okay, so the problem with Link Karibo, and the reason why it being banned, specifically, is because... It, it's not because it's a Link 1. You can, There are a myriad of Link 1s, that doesn't matter. The reason it was so good was because it could dodge, it could allow you to utilize Snake Eye, Ash, or Poplar, or Oak, or whatever it is. Have them utilize their effect, and then dodge the effect of, like, a targeted effect negation. Like, for example, a... I don't know, a, uh, an Imperm, right? And then you still just get the effect. Right? And now you can't do that. So not only is it, a, like, the best generic Link 1 to help you just, like, survive, but then it also basically gave you insulation on your other plays moving forward. Which is why it was so crazy. Yes, you could play Almirage, you could play Anima, you could play whatever other Link 1 you want to play. you th Those are still options, and they're probably going to see play in Snake Eye, right? But the difference is that now, on follow-up turns, you're not, like, you're still going to be able to interact with them more favorably, right? You're going to be able to affect Baylor them. You're going to be able to imperm them. You're going to be able to activate Chi Shao, targeting Snake Eye Ash, and actually get the effect and negation to go through, because the Link Karibo is no longer in the grave, which is awesome. A Mirage requires a normal summon, so the special summon Poplar off Ash wouldn't work. That is true. But you could still, like, you know, normal summon Ash. Ah! I'm sorry. I saw set four and I panicked. I knew what deck I was playing against. and it, it, Seeing set four is just so terrifying every time. I drew grass, by the way. We had a rise to full height. Nice. Uh, what do I want to draw here? Accumulated fortune, probably. 
And Canadia. Oh, I actually get to draw all three of these, which is actually not bad. Why did I chain? What the fuck am I doing? I'm just clicking buttons. Don't click buttons, you stupid piece of shit. It's fine. Uh, why am I banishing a paleo? Because I'm stupid. It's not exactly anyway. You can still use... Almirage. Embodiment of a f What? Oh, yeah, you could also use it to recycle cards. Oh, yeah, you could also do the whole, like, Sunlight Wolf thing with Link Karibo, which now you can't do, which is awesome. Yeah, you could go, like, make Link Karibo. Make Link Karibo. Send off Link Karibo with, like, Snake Eye Ash or something like that. Use uh, Snake Eye Ash to... Or, not Snake Eye. Use, like, the two monster... Two random fire monsters. Make Sunlight Wolf. Use any of your other level ones to make... Um... Why did this guy... Uh, use any of your other level 1s, tribute it off with Link Karibo, special summon to the zone the the Sunlight Wolf points to, get the Sunlight Wolf to add a thing, and then link all of those off into Heatzel. And now you can't do that. Now Heatzel is not an option, which is really cool. When will the TCG make Shavara at 3? Good question. I'll put back Needlebug Nest here. Uh, let's go Dynamicious. We'll target this one. We'll grab Olenoids. They probably will put it to two first. But they could definitely put it to three. That would be a smart decision. How many spells do I have? I have one. I have one. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, good to know. Um, I guess we'll just make double Isaiah. Like that was a pretty good play last time. We should do that again. Cringe. Swordsoul use Mapura to hose fire now? Oh, I was thinking you could just make Shaman. Shaman of the Tenny. You you don't have to play Mapura. Don't put those two in the grave. Put those two in the grave. Not that it matters, but you know, do the do the correct play, stupid. Okay, we'll pass. That guy will trigger. Yup, yup, yup. Light Do you have an Eldritch in hand? The answer to that question is no. It's, it's just fucking no. Uh, I, I don't want to trigger trap right. I'll just let it go. No, my Akashi isn't good. There are hardly any negate moss monsters that are synchro. I guess snake eyes are screwed. Yeah, that's... That's why those two cards are specifically banned. So that there aren't just random negates.
Yeah, the Mayakashi Trap is nice if you can actually activate it, but if you can't, uh, you know, it doesn't really do anything. I just realized my mistake. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, I didn't like those cards anyway, trust. Copium. How am I doing? I'm doing alright. That one. Snake Eyes have to make Avramax now? Well, I mean, they could still make Apo. And they still basically do the same thing. You know, they still have access to more or less the entire same end board. It's just minus the high end stuff that they were able to do, which was basically the, um, the Omni Negate shenanigans. So, like, all the, like, IP Mask Arena stuff, they still can do. That's, that's still a thing that they have ac access to. Yeah, they can still go S SP, they can still go Appalosa. It's just, now they're, like, big, uninterrupted end board. What, to me, what this does is not kill Snake Eye or, like, make their end board any weaker or anything like that. It means that you don't have to worry at nearly as much about stopping their end board from even being established. You can now kind of wait and be like, yeah, you can establish your end board. I don't have to hand trap you, because if I don't hand trap you, you're not going to end on Omni Negates, so I still have the ability to play the game, right? That's like, to me, the biggest thing that changes. He! He, baby. I'm just gonna immediately snipe him. Guess Dragon Link need to play Draco uh, as a savage replacement. Draco, Draco, what Draco? Oh, okay. <sighs> Don't know why I'm doing this now, but I am. Oh, Daruma. Well, Daruma is actually pretty good. He doesn't quite do anything, but... Dragon Berserker is generic, though. dark? I mean, it being the dark doesn't really matter. If we're talking about Snake Eyes, like, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Yeah, Pisty is the only uh, Dark Law or er, Dragon Law, and it's only while it's on the field. So, man, I hate Axis Cut. But 
But to be fair, not having an Omni Negate is pretty impactful. Elemental Burst? No. I think so. <clears throat> I know what cards you're talking about, and no. Well... Wait, sorry, bro has two Cursed Eldlands. Now there are two of them. It's actually just to pitch this for uh, Balance of Judgment. So that I can draw a card. A singular card. Hopefully more. That's not the Golden Lord. Uh-huh. There he is. There's the boy. Yeah, that's fine. I just realized this hand like doesn't do anything. Oh, piss off. Oh, piss off. Now I have the ability to Dynamicious, which is nice. But we'll wait. We'll wait, we'll wait. So I could Torrential? No, that's fine. Okay, well, Dynamicious. Treat you. Boo! I don't like that. Sigma OTK is so fun. Liar. Liar! Ooh, backjack. Ooh. Ooh. Be funny. Just torrential tribute myself. Who runs out of resources first, me or him? The answer is him, but... I could just not do anything. I could literally just activate Rise to Full Height. Oh, except that doesn't do anything, does it? Well, I mean to chain a thing. It's like the only thing it would allow me to do. Oh, this is the Sacred Beast one. Uh, or I oh, see. Yeah. Another Golden Lord. Bro, that's the only one I can't trigger right now. Man! <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Destroy a face-up card. Okay. Full chain. My Leon Colia. Yeah. Can I use... You can only have to pay one effect per turn. <laughs> Tragic. I probably shouldn't have done that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because, yeah, now it's just going to get banished. What do we need to grab here? Uh, well, Boku would do it. Do not fuse on me. Do not fuse on me. I will cry. Don't do it. Don't do it! No! No shot! I could have stopped that. Uh, okay. We'll trigger it. You can have double defense. Huge! Wait. 
Oh, you can only activate one Rise to Full Hypo turn. Uh, never mind. What the fuck? I'm scared. Which version of Lab is better, pure, Resonator, or Unchained? Um, probably Unchained, I would imagine. Bro just said, nah, I'm not gonna attack. Forget I said anything. Comedy. Okay, I'm hitting the Scarlet Sanguine. That's like the best option here. Trap Trick. We'll go Trap Trick. Go Olenoids. What do we Trap Trick for? Um, Balance of Judgment. Honestly, that's not like a terrible option. Oh, I can't because of the back. You know? Uh, could go Fiend Griefing. Fiend Griefing is pretty good here. Let's just go Needlebug. Needlebug, Needlebug. Needlebug Nest. Uh, not gonna activate that, though. Reasoning. That's pretty good. They called eight. Oh, Rise of Light is a nice mill. Fiend Griefing. Do I have... Do I have a target? Yeah. I have many. Okay. I should like he a lab always. Well, I mean... The unchained version of lab is basically ikea lab it's just like with the small unchained package right unless you're thinking of something else uh, let me put this into the farm. uh I'll go needle bug nest here chain dynamicious Oh, there he is. There's another one. Another one. Uh, ooh. Not really particularly interested in any of those. We'll go Lonoids. Or, sorry, Opabinia. We'll go Opabinia. Attach. Who are we grabbing? Who are we grabbing? I'm gonna grab Morella. Morello makes the most sense here. We'll go Olenoids. Target this one. I didn't chain! I didn't chain! No! I'm a goofy goober. Alright, it's fine. We'll just pass. No, Hakero! Wait, Hakero is actually good! <gasps> they have no more conks as well. Oh. We're so winning. You're so winning, chat. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. Oh. There's another one. There's another one, chat. It was part of desires. But that... I hate it here. Hakero. Hakero. I'm also gonna chain rise to full height. Cause I'm. If this guy hits the field and they banish my rise to full height, I uh, I probably just lose the game. I wanted that god. No. Oh. Mm hmm. Hakero 2, Electric Blue.
Yeah. 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 Nothing I could really do about that. Uh, let's go Morella. Trigger Morella. <sighs> what am I sending here? What am I sending? Rise to full height 2, electric boogaloo. Send the rollback. Uh, not rollback. There's no point here. Reasoning? That's not useful. Okay, we just go like this. Hmm. This could cause lots of damage, but that's okay. Yep. Wait, it was my own guy. Second of this guy. You get shuffle back? No, I don't I don't want you to go to the hand. I don't want you to go to the hand. Please and thank you. Please stay on the field. You're more manageable that way. You're more manageable in the grave or on the field. He doesn't have the counter trap, right? Do something, doesn't I would, I would cry if he did. He does not! Let's go! Uh, comedy. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I'm literally just not gonna do anything else. They didn't have anything! They're out. We did it, chat. We did it. We broke them. They're done. They're done. I'm just gonna do this now. I forgot. I forgot what I put on the t to the top of the deck. Oh, it was Wuboku, right? <laughs> oh, right, that one. Battle. Bot. Bot. Go away. Morella. No shot, we're winning. We literally just ran them out of resources. Just kidding! Just kidding! That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alright. Uh, grab this guy. Oh, why didn't I grab snow? What the fuck am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm silly. I'm silly, chat. Oh, cool. <laughs> I hate it here. It's fine, just top deck snow anyway. It's fine. Oh, uh, that, that was comedy. Uh, put the rise to full height back into... Oh, that puts it back into the deck, not into the... Right. That's not fun. Oh, I should Oh, I could have had lethal. Do I still have lethal? Is there... Is there a way I have lethal here? No. No, I goofed. I goofed. Just manifest the card you want. Well, I didn't actually want to know. I was just like, oh yeah, that does a thing. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Zeus' secret effect indeed. Put this guy back into the grave, and we'll chain this guy. Tier hybrid? No. What? You can 
clearly see what I'm playing. It's just paleos. Nah, 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 nah. You can't get that guy out of your grave. That's not allowed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Leon Colia. Leon Koi Koi Choi uh Leon. Who named these fossils? How dare they? How dare they make them nigh impossible to say? Alright, chat. I will simply I will simply pull the card that I'm looking for. Trust. Tr trust. Not that one. I will simply pull transaction rollback. Watch. Watch. Okay, this is a this is an insane. Yeah. Hey, ologists. I hate scientists as well. Cambrian, Cambrian, Cambrian fossils go burr, indeed. They're named after their IRL count counterparts. That's why I said. Whoever named the fossils, I don't like them. Stop! No, why? You! Go away! Why is he here? Stop! That's the fifth time. That's the fifth red reboot, chat. Five. Five. Five of him! Why is he in this pack? Master Duel really wanted me to play Red Reboot. They're like, I, I heard you like traps. Here's a trap. Here's a trap that stops traps so that you don't have to deal with traps as you play your traps. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. I know what you're doing. You can't hide your devious actions from me. Transaction rollback. That's not. That's not a transaction rollback. All right, transaction rollback. Trust. At least make it shiny. At least make it shiny, so that when I dismantle it, I don't feel as bad. You know what? Trust. 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 Wasn't worth it. Was not worth it. Was no. Wasn't worth it. Shouldn't have done that. I'm stupid. Ah, oh, never do this. I looked at this deck and was like, nah, it's cheap, trust. And I was, I was... I was wrong. I was wrong about that. Should not have made that assumption. Why the hell do I have Albion? I actually don't know. <laughs> He's here. He's chilling. It's fine. It's fine. Don't think about it. <laughs> Do 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 What was the other one? It was the Synchro Monster, right? Or was it the Xe? Oh, it was the Xe. It was the Xe. The XYZ. Why? Bro thinks he's on the team. Nah. Nah, he ain't on the team. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay. The things that I noticed most wanting was Elf and Gigantic. They seemed very good. Do I care about the third Trap Tantalizing Tune? Or would I rather have, like, a Zero Boros or something? Unaffected by other monster effects. Um, you can only use these following effects once per turn. You can target a set uh, card in the Spell and Trap card zone. Since you're graded and you set a Paleo Zoke Trap directly from your deck. Um...
That targets your opponent's cards, right? You could, you could target your opponent's set. Spell trap. Send it to the grave to set a paleo. Yeah. I think. Am I just not reading that right? You can you can target a set card in the spell and trap card zone. Send it to the grave, and if you do, set a paleo trap. No, yeah, you send your you can send your opponent. You can send your own. You can send your opponents though. Okay. That just it, it's just a weird effect. But I mean, yeah, that would make sense. That's the slowest removal ever. <laughs> uh, it could be activated this turn if a set card you control would be destroyed by card effect. You banish this card from your field of grave instead. Whoa. Ah, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, I need the third transaction, don't I? Tragic. It's a fucking All right, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, I just got over it. No. I feel like I want more removal. I feel like I have no removal. You know? Like, it's dynamicious or bust. And I don't like that. I feel like I need more removal. Yeah? What kind of removal we got? I could play Mirror Force chat. I kind of like Torrential. Torrential's like not bad. I'll play Torrential. Play two torrentials. Is that maybe worth it? Probably not. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yes. Uh, let's play. Let's play unicorn. Let's play. Do we play sky calf? Let's play mannequin. Restore red cards. Uh, let's use. Choose Apple Max. Spook them. Spook them. We use the ritual cage as well. Uh, let's do Kanadia. Let's do Opavinia. Uh, let's do Grass. And then let me just uh, get rid of this one. Okay, cool. Play Jet and Gamma Burst as Zeroboros replacements. That is very funny. I do like that idea. Is there any recurring removal? No. Phoenix isn't a bad idea. I could have definitely played Nightmare Phoenix. How much do you want to bet my opponent has a Harpy's Feather Duster? How much do you want to bet my opponent has a Harpy's Feather Duster? Guaranteed. Thousand percent. Million percent. Virgilian percent. I'm going to keep that one in hand. I'm going to keep it in hand. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? And then I'm just immediately going to fire a Needle Blood Nest. Send it all. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. I wanted a Paleo in the grave. So that if I activate my Kanadia, I still have the ability to, like, do something. Get something off of it. No. Six cards in the extra? No. Okay. 
Sure. Beetle! Yeah, sure. For sure. Yeah, of course. Uh huh. Well, you can't set your beetle in the back row now. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna empty your hand? This does stuff. Oh. It does do stuff. Um, sure. Yeah. I probably should have put that face down. Now that I'm thinking about it, End of main. Battle. Okay, we'll go Needle Lug Nest here. Go oh, Morella. Morella. <clears throat> Milo rise to full height. I did not. I did not. Tragic. Bruh. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> I hate it here. That's so dumb. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know I'm drawing time tearing Morganite at the very least. Sure. That's so funny. That's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, I have that guy. Uh, we'll go Lee and Colia. Lee and. Lee and Lee -Ann. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Out comes your boy. We'll go Canadia. We'll go Morella. Morella. Then I make gigantic. Something. <laughs> Don't know what I do with Gigantic, but I make him. And he's there. You know? That's the important part. Uh, could go Morella to get. Yeah, we'll grab a Olenoids here. That seems like a good idea. Go Olenoids. I'll snipe uh, this one. I didn't chain! I gotta, I gotta remember to chain. I keep forgetting to do that. No shot. Bro's just better. That's an insane top deck, by the way. So let me just draw two. Nah, they got one. What'd they get? There you go. Nah. Okay. Someone... Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. Right. I'm just gonna... Just put him... In the dirt. Put him in the dirt. Put him face down. It doesn't hurt, she said it doesn't hurt. 
They would have had to go Allure into Archfiend into or into Archfiend and another target for the Archfiend. It couldn't have just been Archfiend. Now they're gonna set it again. Whoa. That's crazy. Watch this be all three of the same card. Do I guys like the, do I like the TCG ban list? Yes. Very much so. I think it is a great ban list. Why did I not put this guy back in here? What am I am I stupid? I'm stupid. I have enough paleos. I I'm just dumb. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. True needle bug nest. I don't know how I feel about that. What if I just grabbed another one and it made the correct play? And did the right thing. There we go. Chain Paleo. Hold on, let me chain Paleo. Okay, let's go... We go Gigantes? Gigantes, I mean Iperia. Iperia and... Gigantes into... Gigantic. Gigantic can bring back Iperia at any time to draw additional cards. I could also bring back Gigantic, which is cool. Okay. Then go into L. How much defense does this guy have? Scrolling up. 15. He's 15. I thought he had 12. Pend is penned. Man. If Pend does anything, and I genuinely mean anything, with uh, with Magic Spectre Unicorn, that'll be the most shocking thing that comes out of that ban list. What the fuck? I don't know what I expected, but I've never seen this card. What the hell? Over this card, crazy. It's about to lose to Wolboku, which is very funny. Oh, cool, my favorite, Balance of Judgment. I'll go back, Jack, here. I'll see if I can get something. Reasoning! Bruh. Bruh. Alright, we'll needle bug nest. I will simply hit it. Trust. You think it'll make it to day two? Wow. You have a lot of faith in that deck. Special summon the third. Special summon the third. Special summon the third. Yeah. Also, why does Wolf Oh, no, it actually does have the correct text. Wait, this can special summon from Banish? Wow, that's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. Bro has not read Robo Woboku. He saw me activate it and then just didn't think about it. 
Looping Kaiju Lava Golem won't certainly be good for the other side. That's already a thing that another deck does, and that deck doesn't do shit. And they search Kaijus. Like, that's their whole game plan. Because, <laughs> you know, Fairy Tail uh, Luna still exists. Luna? Right? Is it that one? It's the other Fairy Tail card. I, I, I don't care. Hold on, I can do this better. Hold on, trust, I can do this better. I'm gonna pop this one, because I don't know what it is, and you scared. I fucking knew it was all three of this. Oh, that's so funny, dude. That's so comedy! I love this game. <laughs> this game's great. Oh? I'm just gonna activate the rise to pull height here, and I'm just gonna target this guy, and special summon this guy, and... Yeah. Anomalous Carrick's my second favorite Paleo Predator. He's my favorite. Anomalous Carrick's effect. Oh, motherfucker, it's snow! <laughs> I hate this game! I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game. Yeah, baby! Uh. Oh, if it leaves the field. Ah. Meta Special Draco can summon a unicorn out of the deck. Okay, and? What does that what does that do? What is that is great. Awesome. Fantastic. They now have a bounce. Incredible. Like every deck can play through that. Not saying that's bad. It's just, yeah. Basically every deck already has ways to deal with that. Right? And Pendulum basically doesn't do anything anyway. The problem with Pendulum is not its end board and what it can do. It has insane potential. The problem is that that potential just doesn't matter when it gets stopped by a single hand trap or by the fact that it can't go second at all. Like, it just doesn't do anything going second because it doesn't have the ability to play out and, like, any non-engine. Right? I'm gonna pop that one. How much defense did this guy have? I do not remember. 900. There you go. These guys' effects are negated? I mean, they're not doing anything. It's funny. Regular DPE isn't good enough to run Fusion Destiny in main, and Pend already has a loaded main deck engine count. I mean, you're still playing Kirin. Because, yeah, you can summon it for free. You can search it for free. You can... Even if you just end up hard drawing it, it's still a free summon that gives you a bounce every turn. But does that matter? No. I mean, you already basically had the same thing. You added Destruction every turn with the, uh... The trap card. It's not like the trap card. So like now, now you have a bounce on top of the trap. Like a pendulum. To be fair, pendulum end boards are not bad. You know, Baron. Uh, well, I guess Baron's banned, so you can't do that. But like, Apo, generic synchro monster that they're probably gonna pivot to. Um, uh. The um the trap card, time time gazer, if need be, etc. You know, like there are 
there are definitely options. Yeah, IP into SP, all of that stuff. They're still there. It's still good. What is a Karen compared to an SP Little Knight? Oh, yeah, fair enough. I mean, a recursion that you can utilize multiple turn multiple times. Both on your turn and the opponent's. Well, yeah, kind of. But I mean, it basically does the same thing as SP. What the hell did we send? We sent Tragedy? Interesting. I don't know how Pendulum players play in the TCG, but I really think it's really plus. Yes, Kieran is good. I'm glad it came back. Pendulum's not... The problem is... Pendulum's not doing anything right now. So Kieran coming back is good. Maybe, maybe, maybe Kieran does something. I hope, I pray, Kieran does something for Pendulum and Pendulum becomes a playable deck. Because at the very least, then Pendulum can play the game. Right now, it does nothing. Electromite still banned? Good, kill it. What if I just... What if I just... What would you do if I did this? What if I just flip Torrential on you? What would, what would you do? What would you do? Penda's a mess in the TCG? Penda's a mess, period. Because they made a terrible mechanic. Ooh, scary. Quiritis. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's fine. Sure. Uh huh. I'm gonna go Kanadia here. Okay, I kind of figured they would do that. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. love if you set some cards you didn't tragic okay let's pass not really anything i could do about that bro chose to go second that's weird i don't know how i feel about that funny draw. Um, it's not a very good one, but it is a very funny one. Man. I don't know how I feel about Balance of Judgment. It feels so bad. here. Don't chain. 
I kind of thought, yeah, okay. I was like, I kind of hope that they keep the Horatus around. Because it'd kind of suck if it floated. Branded in red. Oh. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I should have trap tricked there. Oh, I can't, though. Because then I would have only had the one. Because I could have gone, like, Fiend Griefing. But then I just died. Oh? Oh? I mean, I guess I still have Tragedy to go. For, like, Brandon Fusion. We don't grab Ad Adlib there? Hmm. Yeah, apparently it's OG branded Despia. Uh... <laughs> not what I expected. That was not what I expected. I was expecting to get absolutely demolished by what's his bucket, and then it wasn't. It was not. It was not what's his bucket. Now that it engages both at three in the TCG and OCG, it should be time to release it in Master Duel as well. No, put it to zero. I hate that card. Burn it in hell. Please search a card. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, please search a card, and then realize you have to put it right back. Wait, what? When the fuck did they... Oh. Oh. Oh, they grabbed it from the grave. Oh, okay. I was like, how did they get a branded fusion? They grabbed it from grave. I... Just don't... Just don't think it's fine. I still stand by designing generic extenders like the cards was the death of penned design no the death of penned design was the fact that it immediately immediately what they did was they said hey uh let's make it so that pendulums have the ability to soul charge for free it's like oh great Yeah, I, I, I like Soul Charge. Soul Charge is cool. Lying to you. I, I don't like Soul Charge. What do we even grab here? Great. Hmm. Could go full of noise. It's not like terrible. It's not great though. Could go fiend griefing. Oh, fiend griefing's actually not that bad. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go put back this guy. We'll send... No balance of judgment is online. Oh wait, it's not! Shit! Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Appaloosa has a alt art, so I'm sure... I'm not sure they'll ban it just yet. I mean... Yeah, they probably won't, but they should. Not arguing Master Rule 3. Uh, Master Rule 3 is long gone. Talking about the relationship with the super type, with their associated mechanic. Yeah. And pendulums always have the ability to pendulum summon which is the problem I'm not talking about master rule 3 I'm talking about right now they can still soul charge they can still basically do the same thing at any time they can spit out whatever they want which has never been a good design well that's a Little annoying. <sighs> so if I 
go Morella. Morella could send rollback. Rollback could get me. Rollback doesn't really do anything. Let's just pass. I don't have anything I can do here. Dashing out. Okay, I'll go Morella here. <clears throat> Maybe I draw something. Maybe I draw something. Here. Okay, yeah, the White Forest archetype looks really powerful. I'm kind of excited. Send rollback. I don't. I don't know if I'm doing anything with it though. Yeah. I would imagine they just go battle. Yeah. We'll go rise to full height. Rickapedal does what scales do, but better. Yeah, and... It's also for a single archetype. And not for an entire summoning mechanic. Transaction, which could get me transaction doesn't give me anything here is the problem. It'd give me trap trick, which could get me dynamicious, which kills me still. Right, because I'd have to pay. Pay six. Yeah, no. Um. <clears throat> God, this fucking. I fucking hate Masquerade so goddamn much, dude. Such a shit card. literally can't beat Masquerade. Damn. This is like a non-argument? What do you mean? A singular free body every turn doesn't mean much. It's not a singular free body. 
it's a pendulum summon. That's the difference. It's that you can pendulum summon from your hand, from your extra deck, up to five bodies for free. That is the main mechanic of pendulums. That is the goal of pendulums. Which is an inherently flawed game design for Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, one free body, not that big of a deal. Which is normally what Pendulum's doing right now. That's not what it always did. And that wasn't the original game design. Right? The original design was far worse. Should we play Serb? No. But that's why I wanted more removal. It was for stuff like that. I felt like I didn't have any removal. There's also a whole bunch of other things that Pendulum just is silly with. But a lot of mechanics have that, so I... I'm not really that... It's not that... That bad. Those were really good mills. Yeah, except for that one. Not exactly what I wanted. go Wuboku here just so I can do this and get another guy onto my field like Morella, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll go Morella. I guess I just send like rollback here. What's up, Dino? How's it going? Last Saturday has been pretty nice, I will say. Transaction for nothing. True. Let's pass. I have rice for light, right? Yeah. Okay. Sick. Sick. Why do I have? Why did I set this? I should have kept it in my hand. I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. It's now on my field, so you know there's that. <clears throat> what is what is my man's plan? Uh, this is about to be the biggest grass you've ever seen, baby. Yeah, I hit snow. I I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game with every fiber of my being, dude. I hate it here. I'm playing snow, but then I hit it and I'm just like, dang, dude, that sucks. I hate this game. Oh, why are you still here? Why are you still here? 
Uh, we'll send a rise to full height. This deck reminds me of Pearly. In a way that I will misclick a lot. Fair. Um, oh, I sent Iperia to the grave. Okay. Then... I'll just go... I'll just link it off. Like, it's okay if it's Spanish. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. And it ends up killing me, watch. We'll bring back Iperia. Draw a card. Uh, not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. <sighs> Detach. What is my opponent playing? I'm scared. I'm scared, Chad. What are they on? I'm spooked. Spooked. Officially spooked. Chain. Kanadia. <clears throat> uh, let's go with I guess. What is this set card? I'm... What do you have? This ha- This has to- this has to be egg, right? It's got to be blue eyes, white dragon. You know, this got to be, you know, white stone. I call it the egg. I was fucking right. I was goddamn right. Of course it was. I was like, they're not doing anything. Yeah, of course. It's blue eyes. They bricked. I just, I, yeah. Do I have lethal? Do I have a way of obtaining lethal? I think so. I think I think I do have lethal. Let's go fiend griefing. By the way, chain. Send your boy. Yo, yeah, boy. Uh, we'll go chain like one. Chain link two. Yes, the ban list was pretty cool. I liked it. Oh. We add a Morella, and then we get to go Morella. Yeah, okay. We we should be able to lethal here now. Cause Snow is a fair and balanced Yu-Gi-Oh card to trust. It's not. I'm lying to you. <sighs> Morella, let's put into the grave a... Let's put into the grave a trap trick, actually, here. Um, we'll go to combat. Yeah, we have barely lethal. Well, that's funny. Poor guy, didn't get to play the game. As I sat here and waited for... You know, 10 hours trying to figure out how to KO them. I'm gonna punch them into the Oblivions. Uh, one, two... Oh, no, sorry, not on field. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah! Snow! I love snow. What a cool, fair, and balanced Yu-Gi-Oh card. Oh my gosh, how we rank up? If I got Chaos maxed, I would have cried. I, I would have been so sad. That is... Don't look at it. One Sage Lamau. Yeah, TCG doesn't have Baron anymore. They don't have Borolode either. Borolode Savage Dragon? That also got banned. 
Both Baron and Borolode got banned. Ooh, nice. I drew the transaction rollback again. Bruh. Bruh. Nib going burr. That's the idea. Well, I mean, Apo still exists, so. You know. Can this target my own? I can. Interesting. I think I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it in hand. And then they Harpy's Feather Dust me and I cry. I just, I, I just ball. I just go, no! Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go blood Nest here. Damn, that was a pretty good needle bug nest. We'll do that. Yeah. Damn. Do I hit Shien's dojo or do I hit the draw two? I gotta hit Shien's, right? Eh, it all sucks. That's a new card. That's a new card. I've never seen this card in my life. Vantage two six samurai monsters from your grave. Interface a field and target six samurai monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. And only use this effect once per turn. If you have exactly one six samurai that would be destroyed, you banish this card from your grave instead. One six samurai monster you control. Dragon Link players are probably not happy about Savage Ban. Dragon Link players don't exist anymore. <laughs> but yeah, you're probably correct about that. Battle Shogun. Battle Shogun. Discard card out of Bushida counter. Let's go rise to full height here. So that we can summon this guy.
double that dear zero defense. Yeah. We'll go backjack here. It's just to grab the fiend griefing. And then we'll go this guy. Put back the Olenoids. Grab Leanne. Did I, did I target the Olenoids? No, okay. I, I, I did target the, the correct card with the backjack there. Okay. We're good. We're good. <sighs> oh, oh, spook. Nor did my opponent in having hand traps. <laughs> I don't think six samurai can have hand traps. I think they just die. Um. See, if they get started at like any point, I do just die. But if I keep grabbing olenoids, what are they gonna do about it? Nothing. I should probably grab Dynamicious, actually. Dynamicious would make more sense here. Because then I could pitch the Transaction Rollback. Which is also, like, a great option. Okay, it's an okay option. I'm lying to you. It's an okay option. Um. I'm gonna go Fiend Griefing here. Uh, I'm just gonna shuffle this guy away. We'll go like this. If Gateway was a card in any other archetype, it would be banned tomorrow. I mean, it's at one. It's not like... It's not like Six Samurai wasn't a tier zero strategy at some point. Like, that... This deck was tier zero, I believe, right? It was tier zero in the... This is a... Um... I don't know how I feel about this. Pretty sure it's tier zero. I could I could be wrong. Why did I say that? Because I'm stupid, Troy. I know it was tier zero in uh, Duel Links, because Shien was just that insane. There's like no out to that card. It was like, cool, you can deal with Shien or you could die. <laughs> I was like, okay. And most decks just died. They're like, okay, cool, I'm go I'll just die, thanks. I'm just immediately gonna do this so that I don't goof. Wee. Wee. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dynamicious here, then. And we'll get rid of this thing. Some sources claim it is tier zero. Yeah. Some sources do, some sources don't. I've seen other people. I've seen people claim some some decks that were not even close to tier zero as tier zero. You're just like, yeah, that. I don't. What are you talking about, dude? Fuma! Terrifying. Yep. Bro, Shien goes so hard here. I'm lying to you. It doesn't. Oh, what nonsense are we doing? Oh, what are we doing? What are we do? Stop! Stop! Our keys on. I can't like target Dynamicious, right? Because I don't have a card for it. How does this work? So I basically just have Fiend Griefing here, nothing else. Tragic.
One. <laughs> One. That was a really dumb reference. Thank you. Fire Flint Lady. What the fuck is happening? Bro. Can we ban Ice Hold again? What'd they do? They grab Bamboo Sword? Sure. is not playing this. Yes. Getting Baron Borlode hits weaker decks more than stronger ones. <sighs> First of all, it does not. Because literally the best deck currently in the room, Snake Eyes, is abusing the fact that they can make that going first uninterrupted, which basically forces decks to play both, uh, or, or sorry, to play hand traps, because most decks can't play through two Omni Negates and the full Snake Eye board. So, yes, in theory, it would be cooler if, you know, Snake Eyes wasn't really annoying. You know, that, that'd be really cool if that was the case. Uh, but that's not the case, and that's not the world we live in. So, tragic. Uh, I'm going to put uh, Fire Flint Lady back. Also, who loved the Baron? What degenerate liked that card? Because I'm telling you, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Do I have a needle bug nest in here? I do. Okay. Let's go roll back. And I want to see if I can target that this year. I can. Okay. Cool. fortune.
do do bow, 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 bow. Grab. Bro did not draw all three Kayaki. No fucking shot. What? Damn, dude's crazy. He's cracked out of his gourd. Bro has to be cheating. Decks can't use Maxi, obviously. They're not allowed. Oh, your deck's consistent? Not allowed. Can't use Maxi. That's cheating. No shot. No shot. This hat. This. No. This has to be cheating. No shot. You drew like this. Yes. Uh, yes. We knew. We knew this. You're right. You're right. Sorry. We knew this card. You're right. Sorry. I forgot it's only been one turn since I saw Why the fuck did we summon this guy? This doesn't do anything. Huh? 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 <laughs> they didn't summon it with the right materials. They don't get the draw. Battle. Yeah. What the Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Damage count. Mock. Because it's funny. Sure. Grab all noise because it's funny. Go all noise. Bro said no. What the hell? That's so mean. Pitch the Woboku. Whee! Does that do anything? I mean, not really. Elf's just here. Alright, let's see what we get. Come on, Backjack. Come on, Backjack. Give me something good. That's Kanadia! That's Kanadia! I'll take it! That's a good one. <laughs> Elf just being used to reset our defense? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> 
play the end of Bane. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Opa Benia 2. Electric Boogaloo. Great. Now there are two of them. Hold on. Sit down. Thank you. No! Uh, come back, I was having fun. Any deck that can make Baron makes Baron, but only Snake Eyes is the problem deck at the moment. Whether or not, sorry, whether or not Baron or other strong generic cards are ban worthy is a different story. So strong generic cards are not what facilitate the definition of ban worthy. So something like Pot of Greed, Soul Charge, Imperial Order, Vanity's Emptiness, generically strong cards, they're not ban worthy. Because just because the top decks use them. Doesn't mean... Or, a better example, Topologic Bomber Dragon. One fucking deck used that. One deck. Because it was the only deck that could realistically use it. But that one deck used that generically strong card. Is it ban-worthy? No. Obviously not. It's just a generically strong card in one deck. Now, if other decks used it, then yes, then it's banned. Baron has been used in countless decks as the boss monster of the archetype for a long time. It has been the end board the goal of end boards for a while. I don't know, it seems pretty ban worthy in my opinion. Yeah! Am I playing against Raptor? Am I about to play against Trap Trick? Am I about to lose because I'm playing against Trap Trick and I don't have an answer to Trap Trick? It's fine. It's fine, I'm dumb. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, I'm just stupid. Oh, I literally don't. Man, I'm really fucking stupid. It's fine. The huge deck size? Is that it? Is, is it just the deck size that made you think that way? Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, let's activate the Needle Bug Nest now. Okay, that actually did something. Kind of. Why do you have something now? What? What? Please tell me. Please tell me this isn't just like 60 card tier lab. Please tell me it's not tier lab. Is that you pass in 60? Is what it may be. I don't know. I'm in silver, so I just don't think, like, anyone thinks like that. It's a Seymour Masochist deck. Okay, this is... It's not tier lab. It's just bad lab. It's just bad labyrinth. We're fine. Um... Could trap trick for, like... Uh... Fucking... Uh... The hell would I trap trick for? Good question. Should go pass. Watch this be like a patch of cephalo set or something stupid like that. A 
I forgot what rank we were. Not gonna lie. If this were if this were diamond or master, yes, I would I would be like, yeah, that's a that's a reasonable ass assessment, right? But because it's silver, I'm like, I don't know. It could I it could just be like random labyrinth. Oh, it's trap tricks. It was trap tricks this whole time. I fucking knew it. I. God, damn! I love that artwork. Oh, that animation is fire, and I hate that I never see it. Battle. Uh, I can draw a card. Hold on, let's draw a card. Ultimate slay and D, baby. Okay, you just set this card, and I, I don't like it. Get it out of here. That one? That one's... That one? That one's the issue. And then this is where I go accumulated fortune. Chaining is more important than the draws. That's why I, I, I feel like I want to take out Balance of Judgment. It doesn't do anything. Like, in theory, yes, it does something. In practice, it actually doesn't do anything. And it's very noticeable. I'm like, bro, what? It's supposed to be, like, for comebacks, but... If you're trying to make a comeback with this deck, I feel like you're just dead at that point. I feel like I'd rather play... I don't know, Calm Hold. Wait, sorry, what? Fair Welcome Lab? Okay. Thrust might be better? No, I'd rather play a Trap. The problem with playing a spell is then uh, you brick on the spell. And it doesn't do anything. You're like, cool, great. That was fantastic. Glad I did that. I like the idea of Cycle of Judgment. I think it's a good idea. But in practice, it, it just... It so rarely works. I didn't chain! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. I didn't want to chain. It's fine. Trust. I'm lying to you. Uh. Okay, we'll go Lee and Colia. Target Lee and Colia. Chain. This is the funniest thing I think I've ever done in Yu-Gi-Oh. Sorry. Lian, Paleozoic Lian, targeting a banished Paleozoic Lian to trigger the Paleozoic Lian in the grave. Yu-Gi-Oh! I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is so funny. Go Anomaly Karis. Uh, no point in going on Anomaly Karis. Could go Trap Tantalizing Tune here. Do you know what's super funny? Do you know what's really, really funny? Do you know what's so comedy they're gonna flip down my my guy right oh cool another lian they're gonna, they're gonna flip it down right there it there it goes it goes face down and then they just make another one and then i i just make another one dude look now there's two of them now there are two of them what? incredible i love this game this game's so funny uh, I'm gonna grab Dynamicious here. 
I'll go Dynamitious. Get rid of this guy. Do you have a counter trap? The hell? Don't scare me like that. Whee. Um, let's go roll back. I'm gonna go with Holonoids. I'm gonna pop this one. When a monster, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, lose your opponent's hand. If there is a monster card, negate it. Then discard a monster from your hand, from their hand. What the what the heck? Did this have an effect? Did this have an effect? What happened? Hey, did the card in hand have an effect? What? What is happening? I'm scared. Chat, help! Help! Um, I could go. I could go trap tricks. Bring back a guy. Or trap trick. Bring back a guy. No shot at Snib. Oh, it was the Canadia. It was the fucking Canadia in there, right? Oh, okay. Uh, let's grab... Let's grab Morella. Finishing Morella is kind of annoying, but that's fine. Let's go Morella. Let's go Olenoids. Let's go... And rise to full height. We'll go Gigantes. We'll go Gigantes. If we can detach it from this guy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, they were all made with traps. Funny. Funny. Funny, funny. Uh, that is a kind of mid draw. Not gonna lie. Dog. Did we just have a brain aneurysm? I that is one card I never would have guessed is a coup clock is that a card how dare you you're not allowed to set cards is it bullying yes I'm gonna chain the back jack here should I no am I yes why because I'm the goat See, I fucking told you. <laughs> Sometimes you're just better than your opponent. It's that simple, dude. And then they triple attack me and I cry. I didn't chain! It's fine. 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 It's not fine, it's not fine. I did not change. I did not change. Oh, I'm such a silly. I'm such a silly. No. No. I literally only have Canadia left. That's very funny.
they really like Appa. They saw Appaloosa escape the ban list in the TCG, and they were like, Ayo! That's my girl! What if I gave them back the Cuckoo Clock? And then summoned... I don't know, a thing off of it. I could, I could summon a thing off of it. That is true. I could. That is... Oh, Titanium Side had a what? This has a grave effect? Oh. Did not know that. I couldn't I would never have been able to tell you that information. Lost Wind. I think it's just better than Lost Wind, right? Like, for the most part. Target face a monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck changes its attack to zero and it's, uh, and if you do, it negates its effect. Okay, it's... It's basically just Lost Wind. It's like the exact same thing as Lost Wind. Except, specifically, it only summons or counts for summons from the extra. Which is different. There we go, Unicorn. There we go, Unicorn. We shuffle away this guy. And we go, Badjack. Apollosa is very likable. You are correct about that. And then we go, and then we go, um, yeah, and then we go, what if you got access code coded on by, uh, Paleozoic? What would you do? Access, so, access code is so cool. Isn't it just? Bro, we played like four games. It's been like three hours and we've played like four games. <laughs> this deck this deck takes too long. Oh. If this deck didn't take as long, I Nah, this deck, this deck is great. It's great. Nah, I love it. It's super fun. Rank up. Rank up to silver. Great. That's crazy. Oh. Joshua Schmidt, why'd you have to make this deck so expensive? What the hell? Um. I do not like Balance of Judgment. I'm really not a fan of it. I'd much rather play like anything else. Again, I feel like I want removal of some kind. But I also want something like chainable. I'm gonna put Pumple. Like, yeah, one for one removal isn't like insane. I don't know. See, I don't know. Balance. The thing is, like, Balance of Judgment is probably much better against, like, Snake Eyes, or Tear Lament, or Rescue Ace, or Labyrinth, or, okay, I'm lying, it's not Labyrinth, but any of those other decks where it's like, oh, they actually just have a whole bunch, but, eh. Now imagine 2017 where your best mode of attacking was just Paleos' beaters. Yeah. 
fair. But still, at least it's not access code dogger. When did Boral Sword come out? Couldn't you go to like Boral Guard or something like that? There's probably some Boral that came out that you could play. I guess that no, these count. These don't count as affect monsters. Didn't you play something else though? It was like it wasn't just play paleos. It was like paleos and something else. And that was like how you closed out the game. I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. I feel like there's something. Else. Anyway, who cares? Uh, I'm gonna call it quits there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. It. If you did, like us very much. We'll appreciate it. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye bye. Bye bye.